Before I can start on this week's project, I have to finish last week's project. And then I have to figure out what to do with last week's, week's pro project. And that may sound easy, but it isn't. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, today we're going to start on a big, uh, big project, an outdoor storage unit. A uh, pretty massive project. I don't know if we'll get her done in one episode, but we'll give her a try. But before we do any of that, we have to do something with these uh, trophy cases we've built over the last couple of weeks. The one all the way to my left is the one we did last week. I uh, made it a little bit darker. Uh, came out real good. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I built it with uh, essentially a jigsaw. The one all the way to my right, I also built with a uh, jigsaw. And then the one directly behind me is the one I used the fancy tools on. So they all came out uh, okay. The one on the right had a lot of design flaws that we corrected last week. But that's not the point. The point is we got to uh, do something with these and deconflict the area so we can start on a new project. So uh, let's knock off the chatter and get to work. I'll. Uh, I'll take you over and show you uh, the first thing we have to do to uh, deconflict this area. Well, you saw me taking the boat out because I have to deconflict this uh, whole area here. My goal is to take that uh, uh, take that case out and throw it away or use it for firewood or something. Uh, reorganize some of that memorabilia on the left side there and install a couple of those new trophy cases in this uh, area here. And I'll tell you the truth. I ain't put my world's worst golfer award at this high. But sometimes sacrifices have to be made. this trim uh, so that the two boxes will fit between these uh, these outlets I don't want to cover them up because I still use them what I'm doing here is putting in a, a spacer because I I want to get the box away from the wall because I have to uh, overlap. I have to overlap on that uh, outlet. Well, okay, the uh, cases look all right, but that seems like a lot of trouble to go to to display a bunch of old hats. Now you've hurt my feelings. I was a diver in the Navy, and when I left one of my camp commands, they uh, they gave me this plaque. Now, how could you ever throw anything like this away? Let's put it up on the wall. Well, 
Well, I got the cases up and out of the way. So now we can uh, clean up this mess and bring the boat back in. Now I'm going to have to build this thing essentially in three, three parts, the top cabinet and the base. Uh, and then the drawers will be the uh, uh, sub, sub components, the six of, of those. Uh, eight of those. Okay, so the first thing uh, First thing we're going to build is the uh, is the base. There's a reason I had to deconflict this uh, work area here because I'd be I've got to uh, use several uh, sheets of three quarter inch plywood, so I had to come up with a an area that was 20 feet long uh, so that I could uh, move, maneuver these uh, three quarter inch. <laughs> Get out of there, fly. Tight bomb three glue on this. And now I'm going to stick them together. Screws. Screws will uh, both form a mechanical bond and also help pull the uh, pull the pieces together. Hey, I'm thinking uh, two sheets of three-quarter inch plywood glued together. It's about the strongest thing ever constructed. Well, I got the glue up on the uh, base finished. I thought the clamps were totally unnecessary, so I doubled up on them. Let's get to be holding the, the uh, sides to the uh, top and bottom using Craig screws, uh, pocket holes, and I'm uh, just checking my second. I'm checking my setup here. Here I'm working on the top and the bottom. Uh, the top and the bottom receive that dado. It doesn't need the dado for strength or anything. Um, but I put it in there to make sure that the center uh, pillar for the cabinet was perfectly uh, plumb and uh, square. Okay, I got the uh, pocket uh, the pocket holes drilled, and I have the uh, center dado for the top and the bottom. Let's go over the schematic and uh, see what else we have to do. Okay, here in this uh, schematic, you can see that the sides, that's a side and that's a side, and that's the center, center piece that will divide the two sets of drawers, and then the top and the bottom here. Um, the center dado that I showed you on that other piece goes right down the center here. Okay, what we have to do now is we have to put a dado, I mean a rabbit, 
around the outside here on the sides and the top and the bottom for the back uh, to I'm gonna receive try the back. To, uh, to put these rabbits in the uh, back of the case uh, using a, a dado setup. I've got a uh, sacrificial fence installed and that little line right there, that little dot is three-eighths of an inch up from the bottom. That'll set my width of the rabbit and I already have the depth set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the saw, run the blade up until it uh, cuts through the center of that dot. Wish me luck. top are all uh, worked up. We got that dado in there. The uh, material for the back, the eighth inch or the quarter inch plywood will go right in that. Our next task is to make this center divider that, that goes in this dado. It will be 17 and 7 eighths inches wide and uh, it will be 47 and 3 sixteenths uh, did is I very precisely measured that backer board so that there was no gap uh, in that dado. That would kind of uh, help with the strength and also uh, keep the... Uh, well there's the, uh, there's the carcass. You can see now why I put this uh, center piece in here with the dados and I made a big deal about putting it in uh, because you can imagine trying to get that thing plumb and level and square and uh, equal distance between these here it would have been a goat rope okay the uh, shelves are going to go in like this that would be uh, four drawers. One, two, oh, here's three. a tool we haven't used much. Uh, if you grew up in the trades, you probably uh, prefer using this to about anything. some uh, oak trim <clears throat> on the base. I'm putting the wheels on with uh, one inch lag bolts. We'll have this uh, we'll have this thing up on wheels in just a minute.
Well, there's a carcass, and that'll be a lot easier to work on. We can move it around and play with it. Next thing is the uh, top. Well, I said we were going to work on the top, but uh, the top is actually pretty easy. Uh, what we're really going to work on now is the trim for the front. Now, this trim is very important because the drawer slides, you can see the front of the drawer slides here, come right out even with the edge of this trim. And the drawers themselves uh, come up and end right at that trim. put in drawers, the, the question you're going to have eventually is how do, I, how do I make sure that all these drawers are perfectly spaced? Uh, how, do, how am I going to make sure they're all parallel this way, uh, parallel transversely? Uh, it just seems like a problem with too many moving parts. Uh, if you have a cabinet maker friend, he'll probably show you the right way. So listen to him. But if you don't have a cabinet making, maker friend, uh, I'm going to show you how, how I, I do it. Is I just make uh, make some measuring jigs, uh, just by taking the measurement across, you know, across the cabinet, dividing it by four, taking half of that number. And that gives me my first block, and then my other three blocks I can just stack in there. And the beauty of this is, uh, if I've made any uh, measurement errors or if I've made any uh, arithmetic errors, uh, they're they're going to come out when I make these blocks. So this is so easy that you feel like you're cheating. All I do now is just draw a line here, and bingo, I made my first line. Bingo, I made my second line. My third line. And finally my fourth line. Once you get the lines drawn, Actually, installing these uh, things is pretty easy. All you got to do is line it up. I don't know if you can see that. See that line that cuts right down through the center. I'm probably blocking the camera, but you've seen the screw go in before. that's gonna I guess that's gonna do it for another Memphis Monday I think we got quite a bit done today we finished that uh, the display cases project and got them all mounted and all that business and we got a real good start on this uh, outdoor uh, uh, storage unit we got the case built we got the drawer slides installed we got the trim uh, next week we'll uh, do the drawers and the top and finish it. Maybe we'll get started on the next project. So anyway, can't think of anything else. Tweet and Facebook and comment and all that business. But most important, what? Yep. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>